Chapter 7 is on normal curves and sampling distributions. The graphic here shows several different types of distributions. However, for the purpose of Chapter 7, our focus will be on the normal distribution. Section 7.1 starts with graphs of normal probability distributions and their properties. The normal curve is also called a bell-shaped curve. There are five important properties of a normal curve. The curve is bell-shaped with the highest point over the mean, mu. Second, the curve is symmetrical about a vertical line through mu. So half of the values are to the right of the center line, and half of the values are to the left of the center line. Third, the curve approaches the horizontal axis, but never touches or crosses it. Fourth, the inflection or transition points between cupping upward and downward occur at mu plus sigma, and mu minus sigma. Fifth, the area under the curve is one. This is because all the probabilities within the distribution must sum to one. This concept is further explained in the next slide using the empirical rule. For the empirical rule, a distribution that is symmetrical and bell-shaped in particular for a normal distribution, approximately 68% of the data values will lie within one standard deviation on each side of the mean. Approximately 95% of the data values will lie within two standard deviations on each side of the mean. And approximately 99.7%, or almost all, because this is close to 100%, of the data values will lie within three standard deviations on each side of the mean. This graph provides a visual for the empirical rule. Again, 68% of the data values are within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean. 99.7% of the values are within three standard deviations of the mean. Here's our first example. The playing life of a sunshine radio is normally distributed with mean mu equals 600 hours and standard deviation sigma equals 100 hours. What is the probability that a radio selected at random will last from 600 to 700 hours? The solution is as follows. We need to apply the empirical rule. Since mu equals 600 and mu plus sigma equals 600 plus 100 to total 700, we see that the shaded area is simply the area between mu and mu plus sigma, which if you go back a slide to the empirical rule is 34% of the total area. Thus, the probability a sunshine radio will last between 600 and 700 playing hours is about 0.34, or 